my name is Anthony Walsh. I was actually homeless on heroin before I got into um, detox. And I signed myself into detox and then I attended Center for Alcohol and Drug Treatment for 36 days and then decided to go to a halfway house, which was Howard Fries Lakeside Halfway House. And I was there for two months and amazingly I got accepted into the clean program and it changed my life. It was I was surrounded by tons of sober people, gave me a chance to actually have a place to live since I had nowhere to live before that. And if it weren't for this place, I would have been homeless if I didn't come here. I had nowhere else to stay. Um, it gave me hope. And my favorite things about clean, it's a sober environment. Um, everyone's accepting. It's a friendly group of people. Um, Julie and Joe are very loving and caring people. They bend over backwards for us here. Um, I thought I'd never be able to start on my GED and get my diploma. I thought I'd just be a dropout for the rest of my life and just be doing drugs for the rest of my life. <clears throat> Currently, I'm eight months sober, and that's the longest I've ever been sober in my life since I was like 16, and I'm 23 now. In the um, past eight months, I've accomplished more things than I've accomplished in the past eight years. So it's, it's definitely mind-blowing to look back at where I was and where I am now. Um, and it, if it weren't for clean, that I wouldn't be here right now. I'd probably be out using again or either locked up or dead. So I, I pray and I thank everyone at clean every single day. And yeah, like I said, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for clean. My roommate, my current roommate right now, I was at Howard Freeze and I believe he told me about it and said, hey, like, you should call. And so I gave him a call and I called and I called. And then finally I got an appointment and I went up and I saw Joe first. I pretty much just kept pushing it like I really wanted that. I wanted to prove to them that I really needed this and wanted this. And then it just went on from there. I just, I went back for a second time. I, I chose to do this on my own. I signed myself in on my own. I was homeless. I pretty much had no one. And, and then I made tons of friends and Howard Freeze and CADT and then now at Clean and that's who I surround myself with now. They help me a lot now. My parents do. They, they started not caring about me because I was out doing drugs, never answering, doing, doing very bad stuff. And it's like when you say that you're gonna do something for so long and you don't do it, then people don't believe you anymore. So my parents didn't want anything to do with me. And then now that I actually proved to them and I showed them that I did this now, they actually know and they love me. And it's like the only people that have stuck by me through all this are my parents. Everyone else would only be there when I had drugs and um, when I didn't, they weren't there. Or when I didn't have a place to stay, if I didn't have drugs, they would not answer, they wouldn't care. Now it's like everyone in <clears throat> the clean program would give their shirt off their back for me even if I don't do anything. Actually, in, in sobriety in general, and I've never experienced that, it's amazing.